Hi, my name is Keith Halls, and I have with me today one of my uh, friends I've known for the last four years and been able to work with very closely for the five, uh, last four years. I, it's going to be a lot of fun for me to be able to introduce to you um, a lady who has honestly helped longevity in the essential oils. Um, and just her coming on, the essential oils have grown so rapidly. And, and the big reason is really, it's because of Leanne King. It's because of her knowledge, and it's also um, because of the way that she teaches. So, first of all, I would like to introduce to you, Miss Leanne King. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad to be here, and I hope that you are excited about being with Young Gemini. I know I am, and I know that you're going to be so excited. I'm so happy for you guys. You are getting essential oils. That is going to be so great for you and your family and your customers. You know, Leanne's not going to brag about herself. I know she won't. So let me tell you a couple things about her. She's an amazing lady. She's been studying um, in, and working with the essential oils for the last 20 years of her life. She is a master herbologist. She is, there are a couple of others. I, I forgot which ones. Um, I am a certified aromatherapist, and I have been certified in the French medical way and the English and the German. Mostly what we do in longevity is focus on the English because that is the most safe way to use essential oils so that if you are brand new, you don't have to worry. I know that lots of times essential oils have this, Whoa! but I don't want you to worry about that because we're going to teach you how to do it safe. Another thing to me that is a great selling point is that Leanne is... Um, um, uh, uh, she's half Cherokee. Um, I think that's right. Am I wrong on that? I'm not half. Yeah. Uh, my grandfather was uh, born on the reservation, though, in Oklahoma. So I am a registered Cherokee Indian, and I was mentored by what we call a traditional teacher for over six years. And now that um, responsibility has been placed on my shoulders, and part of that responsibility is to teach about health. Um, herbs and even essential oils in their own way has been taught and passed down through the Native American culture for generations. You know, here's the thing, Elia, that I've always been impressed about. In um, the United States, in Australia, in New Zealand, we haven't really talked about the oils for very many years, but the oils have been used for a long, long time. Oh yeah, the essential oils have actually been around probably since the beginning of time. And they're in every single um, scriptorial work, no matter what religion you are. There are essential oils talked about in the sacred writings from every single culture. And in America, it was done more in the form of in sweat lodges with the Native Americans and um, boiling herbs and just the aromas coming up that way. Over in Egypt and China and India, they actually perfected the distilleries that we're used to nowadays. I like to consider them sort of like um, the bootleg moonshine <laughs> stills because they look like that. They look like those bootleg from that you see during the prohibition time with right. the curly Q pipe and all of that. And so it's sort of fun. That's where all of that was developed, was over in those countries, and it stayed over in Europe quite a bit, and is still very popular there. Um, doctors, medical doctors, used essential oils for generations there, and they were um, used a lot in, uh, during the World Wars. Um, they were part of their standard um, medic packs, because antibiotics had not been fully developed at that time, tea tree specifically, which is one of the oils that you guys are getting, <laughs> and uh, it is just an incredible, it's been known for being antibiotic and all of that, so. Very good. Here's another very interesting fact, at least that I find very, very interesting. Leanne, I'm going to ask you a question. I, I already know the answer. Are you the only person in your family that, that works with the oils, or, or is this something more than just that? Oh no, um, my husband actually started out hating essential oils <laughs> and he saw essential oils, he lived over in England um, for a while and essential oils were, were used there with the doctors and he thought they were sort of weird, sort of smelly and 
about a little over 20 years ago, I had a sister-in-law that came over and brought me essential oils. And he did not want those stinking things in our house. And which I thought was pretty funny because I'm married to a farmer. I have nine children. And so our house didn't always smell the greatest. We did cloth diapers back then. And so I just thought right now I look back and I laugh about it. But he now is a formulator of essential oils. So we'll talk about, you know, so any of you guys out there, you men who are like, what? about essential oils and you women who are trying to get your husbands or the man in your life to use them, there is hope because my husband now formulated eight of the blends that Yongevity has and um, and you will be getting some of those in your Aroma Share Club packs which we will talk about later. But And then I have all of my children use essential oils and I have a fabulous little wonderful picture that my daughter actually sent me um, on Facebook yesterday. And my little one year old granddaughter, she fell off the chair and hit her head and the first thing she did was ran over to her own little bag of essential oils. <laughs> and for your children, you're going to want to dilute your oils for your children, but she knew exactly what to do. And she just put it right on the bottom of her feet, because that's where I teach you to put your essential oils. 99% of the time, I don't care what's going on with you, you can just put an essential oil, one drop, Keith, on the bottom of your big toe. Oh, wow. And it will go everywhere where it needs to go. So even though she hurt her head, she put the oil on the bottom of her big toe, because she does what her grandma tells her. <laughs> Well, that's great. That's a lot of fun because I've known that you um, and your whole family has been involved um, um, with the traditional or essential oils now mm -hmm. for some time. Um, one other thing I'd like to tell um, to the to the team and to everybody who's listening on is that Leanne has spent a lot of time, um, and I don't know how long, I'm sure it's been quite a while, but she's been writing a book and this book is now finished and is now available for each and every one of you to be able to purchase. But Leanne, can you take just a few minutes and tell us, because this isn't just any book. This is like the, the master, master of all uh, books, um, at least as far as I'm concerned. So Leanne, could you tell me a little bit about, or tell the audience, okay. I should say? So I've been wanting to write a book on essential oils for quite a few years now, and I own, I don't know how many dozens of essential oils books. And one thing that's been frustrating to me is most of them are not very user friendly for a brand new person and then also don't have any of the sort of the extra information that maybe a more advanced person that's used to using essential oils and so I wanted to create like what I considered like the perfect essential oils book and I wanted it to be something that you guys could share with other people and I know even Keith was shocked when I told him hey you guys get to share this book as much as you want I was. And so what I have just, this is not how the book looks. This is just a little notebook that you guys will be able to make your own notebooks because when you get this book from me, you also get the rights to photocopy. The book is around 379 pages. It's a six by nine. It is not back from the printers yet. Otherwise, I'd just be loved to be holding it up and showing you guys. But it's a six by nine. This is just a small version of the cover right here. And, but you will receive, and we're going to do this ahead of time for you ladies and you guys out in Australia. We're going to do this for you ahead of time. So you're going to be able to, to receive for free a PDF version of the pages that go along with your oils that you're getting from Longevity. Now let me show you what that means. Here is my printed off PDF version of just a few of the oils. And what you get is a one or two page, depending on how much information for each oil. And I want you to use these, okay? So let's say that you purchased, let's see what oils they're getting. They're gonna get frankincense and lavender and lemon, right? That's right. And so you're gonna get these pages for those in a PDF version. And I want you to print those off. Yes, there's not very many times that someone who writes a book says, photocopy to your heart's desire. And, and the reason why I do that is because I do have a passion for essential oils and sharing information. 
And I guess probably part of that also comes from my Native American upbringing and the first woman who um, taught me about herbs. We didn't talk about her, but her name is Barbara, and I want to honor her. She has passed away. And when I only had two little girls at church one Sunday, and they had runny noses, and I knew nothing about herbs or anything, she came over to me, and she taught me about herbs, and she took me in my backyard in the mountains near my home, and... She never charged me, and she taught me her craft um, of essential oils, um, no, herbs. She taught me about herbs, and I never forgot that, that she didn't charge me. She passed on her information and years of knowledge free of charge because she wanted me to be able to take better care of my children. And I made a promise to myself that I would do that, that there would not be a mom around. There's not going to be any moms around or grandmas or grandpas or uncles or aunts that are not going to know how to help take care of the children in their lives. And so that is my gift to all of you guys. And I want you to take these pages, and when you get your essential oils, I want you to print them off, put them in a notebook like this until you get your own copy of your book. And your book will be a lot handier. You can stick it in a bag and all of that. But I want you to have these. And I want you to share them with your friends. When you do your little club meetings or you sell an essential oil to someone, photocopy that page and give it to them or email it to them. You know, if you can't give it to them right then and there. And so that they know how to use the essential oils because nothing is more frustrating. Nothing is more frustrating to get this cute little box in the mail and have no idea what to do with it. And <laughs> I am going to make sure that nobody in Longevity ever has that happen to them. Because that's how it was with me when I first started using essential oils. There was nothing for me to learn about. You know, that was sort of hippie taboo kind of thing 20 years ago to use essential oils. And now they are very respected. They were always respected over in Europe, but in the U.S. they just really weren't. Right. And I just want you guys to have the information at your fingertips always. That is an amazing thing that Leanne is doing. It's a gift of love, I can promise you. Because she's worked very, very hard, not only in writing the book, but she spent many, many years gathering the information so that she could write this book. Now, in Australia and New Zealand, um, you already have received um, the oils that we're going to be able to sell in two different ways. <clears throat> First of all, the company sent over approximately 10 um, um, of the best-selling oils in the USA. So we're going to talk about those for just a second. And at the same time, the, the company also sent over the Oils of the Month Club. And the Oils of the Month Club is an incredible, incredible way to be able to build um, your supply and your knowledge of the oils. So, first of all, let's start with ones. Um, Leanne, we can talk about for a second. First of all, um, over in Australia, New Zealand, they now can buy frankincense. What should we know about frankincense? Well, frankincense was the very first oil I ever got. So I have a real affinity and love for frankincense. Frankincense is an amazing oil in that it can pass the blood-brain barrier. Now, before we start, we're going to do my little disclaimer. And you guys all need to learn how to do a disclaimer. You need to let people know that you are not a doctor or anything like that. And you are not diagnosing and prescribing. And you're not going to make any claims. Even though essential oils are amazing, they don't always work the same for every single person. Yes, there has been studies done on them, and there is historical track record for what they are known to be able to do. But you can't say, I know for sure this oil is going to do yada, yada, yada. Um, we can say it has been known to do this, and it may help you with this. So with that in mind, I'm going to go back to frankincense. <laughs> Perfect. And... So frankincense can pass the blood-brain barrier. And anything to do with the head is what I think about with frankincense. It's great for headaches, but it also has been known to help with Alzheimer's and um, any kind of head injuries because it just has this ability to increase the oxygen to the brain. And that is the thing I want you guys to realize about essential oils. 
is that all they do is really help your body do what it is supposed to do already. But unfortunately, we do not live in a perfect world. We do not have a perfect diet. We do not, you know, even like in this office here, we have carpet, we have furniture, and there are toxins floating around in the air from the cars driving by. And so our bodies just do not have everything they need to do what they are supposed to do. And so that is what I want you guys to remember is that essential oils are just tools for your body to do what it normally would do if it was at an optimal level. So with that said, frankincense has also had a great track record for your lungs, asthma, those kinds of things. It is fabulous for skin, for scars. You, um, I know people that have put frankincense on scars and had them diminish or use them on cuts that might eventually get a scar. So they're great for that. But um, I just love frankincense for anything to do with the brain. It's fantastic for that. Stroke um, recovery, it has a track record for that. Okay. Um, my son, who is now 23, he has very sensitive skin and even the most um, mild essential oils sometimes can give him rashes. That's why you guys want to dilute your essential oils with a carrier oil. And right now, Longevity has not sent you a carrier oil, but you can use um, olive oil or sesame seed oil, grape seed oil. So I want you guys to make sure you go out and buy yourself a bottle of that and have that on hand because you're going to want to do that. But um, whenever my son gets sick, he wants a frankincense bath if he has a cold or a flu. It must really open up his lungs. And we'll put that in a little bit of a natural sea salt, a few drops, like right. maybe 10 drops. Mix that in there, put that in the bath. And even though he's married now, when he is sick, and I don't know how his wife puts up with it, but he gets all whiny and is like, I need my mommy to give me a frankincense bath. And she's like, calls me, will you come get this boy? You know? And so it's great for those kinds of things. Perfect. That's, uh, that's amazing. It really is. The next thing we're going to talk about is lavender. Millet. All right. So we have a specific kind of lavender called lavender millet. And millet is a cloned lavender. And the purpose of cloning um, plants and how they do cloning is, um, is cuttings. And so they'll just take a cutting off of a plant and root it. And that way, rather than doing by seed propagation, so that the plants are all exactly the same. Now, lavender millet, though, is different among clones is it, it can be seed propagated. It is one of the only clone plants that you can propagate by seeds. What else makes lavender millet different than your other lavenders is the aroma. Um, the aroma is <coughs> not as sharp as some lavenders. And some people, um, I happen to love all lavenders, but some people find lavender a little bit too much for them. The aroma is just a little bit too sharp is the best word to describe it. And lavender millet has more of a milder scent, and I think we have one here. And I, was, I don't know if you have smelt our lavender millet yet. I have. And so, but it is just amazing, isn't it? It is. And I it wanted really to is. open up this bottle to show you guys something that I always teach. Always smell your cap of your oils when you open them. There has been a lot of scientific studies, and I talk about this a lot in my book, oh, on nice. um, smelling essential oils. And they have proven that the aromatic qualities of an essential oil goes that we have these two little like postage stamp size um, nets is what I call them up in your sinuses right here. It's an actual external part of your brain. And when we smell an essential oil, it goes up and gets trapped there and it goes straight to the limbic part of your brain and to the cerebral cortex. Every other sense that you have, Keith, on your body has to go through several other parts of the brain before you have a reaction to it. Um, the sense of smell is the only one that does an immediate reaction in your body. That's interesting. And so that's why you want to... Yes, it's brand new. There's been two Nobel, Pri Nobel Prizes in 2004 were awarded because of that studies, and lots more studies are being done on it. And that is why um, essential oils do such a quick... People are like, oh, it's like hoodoo voodoo because we get such these quick, fabulous results. Mm -hmm. And people are like, well, that's impossible. Well, they are proving that it's not. And I'm going to prove to you right now that. Okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. I want you to go back in time 
Okay. And I want you to think about that girlfriend that you had in high school. Okay. And the perfume maybe that she wore. Okay. And then I want you to go back forward your today. Okay? okay. You're at a mall. Okay. And a girl walks by, a woman does. Okay. And all of a sudden you smell that smell. <laughs> okay. See, you're already smiling, and he's very happily married, but guess what? You experienced, didn't you? Did. Almost all the same emotions. It's amazing. <laughs> and I didn't even have you smell it. I just had you think about smelling it. Do you know that every single memory is associated, they've been proven, with an aroma of some kind? Wow. So I want all of you guys to think about bread baking right now. Oh, wow. So I want you to think about bread baking and where does that take you back? To a little boy. And your mom is baking that bread? She is. And so you <coughs> have, so anytime maybe you go by a bakery or whatever, do you think about your mom? I, I'm thinking about it right now just with this whole thing, but yes, I do. All right, so I want all of you guys to do that. And I want you to do that with your essential oils. When you're reading these pages, it's really important if you smell the essential oils right. that you're studying about because your brain then will lock in all that information. And anytime I teach a class, I pass around little Q-tips for people to smell the essential oil that I'm teaching about. Right. And um, one of the things about my classes that people have said is they have almost total recall of that information. All they have to do is open up that bottle when they get it and smell it and they remember everything I taught them at the class. That's amazing. And that so is truly amazing. it is. And so I want you guys to do that. Always smell. And I talked to you about putting the oils on the bottom of your feet. And so I'll Keith, pull off my sheet real quick and show you where. Okay, I'm let's. Keith is going to demonstrate, <clears throat> and then Keith and I are going to sing you guys a song. I'm going to teach Keith a song, all right. and all of you guys are going to sing this. Do you want song. to do it like this or take? That's it? fine. So right here, can can you guys see that? We're going to move the camera just a hair. So when I do an essential oil, maybe I'll have you take your sock off. All right. Take your sock off. I will take my sock off. And then we're going to sing a song. Okay? It's a good thing I washed my feet today and everything, isn't it? <laughs> it might have some lint on it, but that's okay. So this is how I apply essential oils. Almost, no, I don't care what's wrong with you. <laughs> okay. So I smell the cap, <clears throat> and I go, yep, that's the right one. Then I let you smell the cap. Okay. And then I put a drop on my finger. And look at you can hardly see a little teeny tiny drop. Right. Okay, with essential oils, it also has been proven that less is more. If you put more on, you'll actually get less benefits. There's been a lot of studies in colleges and universities recently on essential oils in killing bacteria, fungus, viruses. Right. And they've even done cancer studies specifically actually with lavender. And the less oil you use, the more it kills the bacteria. Wow. So I put it right here on the neck of the big toe, and I do what's called my zip zip. So I go zip, zip, and that's it. All of you guys have to do that with me. Go zip, zip. I make everybody do it right now. I know you're not doing it. Stop it. <laughs> Get your finger out there and go zip, zip. So I didn't hear you say it. Zip, zip. There you go. <laughs> there we go. So you need to move around when you're doing things. And the other reason why you need to move around is because your heart is a one-way pump. That's just right. keep getting up and down just now doing that. Right. That essential oil has gone through almost your whole entire body. Just from that few seconds of muscle movement, it's gone through the pores from the hair follicles, went down your hair follicles, into the pores of your feet, up to your heart, and your heart just pumped it out to every part of your body. Wow. And so that's how the essential oils that's why my granddaughter, when she hit her head, she put it and she did her zip zip and then her <coughs> head felt better. So after I put on each essential oil, should I move around You do. Slightly? Yes, you just want to move around just a little bit and mm -hmm. it'll get it going through your body. Now, if you have a burn or something like that, an actual injury, right. then I do put the essential oil right on the burn okay. or on the cut or that kind of thing. But if it's anywhere inside the internal part of your body, just do it on the bottom of your feet, and then you don't ever have to worry about um, not doing it right. Okay. So now we're going to sing our song, okay? All right. Here we go, guys. All right. So. I don't know what it is. This will be fine with a voice like mine. Let me get <laughs> okay. a sip of water real quick. All right. All right. So a lot of you, <clears throat> when you get your essential oils, this is what you're going to do. You're going to, if you can see them here, 
you're going to sit here and you're going to put them all in a nice little row like that. I know that you are. And you're going to say, yep, I own essential oils. Yep, I own essential oils. Okay, that's not part of the song yet. I'm just telling <laughs> you a free part of it. <laughs> I'm just repeating. Okay. So, and you're going to lay them all out there and you're going to be all excited about them. And right. you're going to be like, wow, they're so beautiful. And then you're not going to open them. Okay. Because that's what we do. We buy things and then we don't use them, Keith. That's true. And so we're going to so nip that true. in the bud right now before you guys even get your essential oils okay. so that you don't do that. All right. But people do that all the time. They buy essential oils and then they don't use them. They're just so proud that they bought them. Somehow they think magically they're going to come <laughs> wafting through and work on their body. So we have to teach you a song to make sure you use your oils. And okay. this is how the song goes. It goes to the tune, My Darling Clementine, okay? My Darling Clementine, wow. So here it goes. Grab the bottle, grab the bottle, grab the bottle real quick. Take the lid off, take the lid off, take the lid off and take a sniff. Just a little drop, just a little drop and your symptoms won't show. Just a little drop, just a little drop and put it on your big toe. That is a fun song. So, you'll have to help me with Okay, it starts out with grab the bottle. Grab the bottle, grab the bottle, grab the bottle real quick. Real quick. Take the lid off, take the lid off, take the lid off and take a sniff. Just a little drop, just a little drop and your symptoms won't show. Won't show. Ready? Just a little drop, just a little drop and put it on your big toe. All right. And then go zip, zip. I added that. That's good. Thank you. Sorry I messed it up. And forgive my voice. I think everybody remembers that many, many years ago I had uh, um, two tumors in my brain. One was removed, and when it was removed, it affected my ability to speak. So please forgive me with the gruffness in the voice and, and sometimes when I mispronounce words. So, excuse me. If that well, that's okay. <laughs> I do not have any kind of degrees in singing or artwork. So, that's fine. So, I have everybody sing that song in all of my classes, Keith, because I want them to know how simple and easy it is to use essential oils. People overcomplicate it. And that is one of the purposes of my book. My book says um, learning how to use essential oils can be simple and fun. And I think that song yeah, is simple yeah, and fun. It is. <laughs> and I like, I like exactly what you just said because so many times we will buy a, a kit or we'll buy products and we get home and we haven't used them. They sit on that shelf and sometimes we say, well, um, the, the oils didn't work or, or the nutritional products didn't work. Whereas in reality, they're sitting on that shelf and, and they can't get from the shelf to your body. So what the song that Leanne taught, it's amazing because that if you would do that with all of your um, oils, it will make so much a, uh, of a difference for you. And I you know, know what? I don't care what oil you use. Every day, pick a different oil. That's what we do at our house. People are like, well, what oils do you use for this or that? And I always tell people, use whatever oils you have. So I don't want you guys to be frustrated that you are only getting 10 oils right now and the Aroma Share Club, which you're going to love. Um, because I, anytime someone calls me and says, I have this problem or that problem, what oil should I use? Remember that every single oil has hundreds of minute chemical constituents in it that are going to boost your body's ability to heal itself. And so, yes, each essential oil does have like highlighted things like, wow, frankincense is really great for your brain and your lungs. But guess what? Lemon is also great for your brain. So, you, you know what? Just <clears throat> every day, rotate, rotate through those 10 oils, grab a bottle, smell it, put it on your feet. Perfect. In fact, lemon, what she just mentioned, is our next one. Yes, it is. Oh, we didn't talk very much about lavender, though. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I got off on my song. So we have to go back to <laughs> lavender. Right. So lavender is sometimes called the divine mother of essential oils because it is like the most well-known one. Okay. And probably all of you have tried some lavender in one way or another. Right. It is fantastic for your skin. Fantastic for that. And for burns, anything like that, you know, lavender is what we grab at our house. I always have a bottle of lavender in the kitchen up on a little shelf because, you know, 
Kitchens are for burning your fingers. <laughs> oh, they are. Or for really cutting fun. yourself. And exactly. so lavender is so great to have always in the kitchen. Okay. And it is safe for little children. And frankincense also is safe for little children, which is a good thing. And you can mix um, lavender with um, some of that carrier oil, let's say a couple of drops with a teaspoon. Use that. Don't buy that ucky baby oil for your children, you know? Mm -hmm. It's so bad for them, you know. I hate it when I turn on the TV and they show commercials about stuff. Did right. you use this? And then now, mm -hmm. that, now they have lawyers, you know, for products. It used to be that they would have lawyers for surgeries and all those kinds of things. And now they're having lawyers for just everyday, common, everyday products, which right. we can replace most of those with essential oils and a little bit of carrier oil. So lavender, just think skin, skin, skin. It's fabulous for that. And the other thing it's great for is helping you relax. So if you have a hard time getting to sleep oh, at that's night, great. I love that idea. You can put a few <clears> little <throat> drops on a tissue and stick it in your pillowcase at night or your children's, and it'll just relax and just help you go right to sleep. Wow, I would try. Oh, that and it's also great. One more thing, it's also great for lowering blood pressure. It has been known for doing that too. Very good. So that's a big problem. So they had so many people everywhere um, have that. Well, let's keep going. You told us a lot All of great right. things. Now we have lemon. Lemon is like the germ fighter. So you get rid of all those ucky chemical cleaners in your kitchen. I know that you have them in your cupboards. <laughs> Just get rid of them. And if you want to save the bottles to reuse those, you could do that. So take those, take the lids off, dump them down the toilet, or do whatever you need to do with those. Get rid of them and put you some water and about 10 drops of lemon oil. Shake that up every time you use it. Use that to spray down your countertops. I love to take my cutting board and I'll just put a few drops of lemon oil on there and I rub it around just with my bare hands because I just then I'm fighting germs on my body too. And it will kill every kind of germ. Over in France, they use lemon oil in the hospitals to clean wow. because it is so fantastic for killing germs. And it is also great, I talked to you about your brain. Lemon will help um, open up the left side of your brain. And so it's fantastic if you're having to do it like for tax time. Mm -hmm. So taxes are coming up here soon. They are. And <coughs> if you need to really open up that left side of your brain, smelling some lemon oil while you're doing that will actually open up that left side of the brain and help oh, it wow. function better. That is amazing. And um, that is my favorite things with lemon is just using it to replace all your cleaners. It's great. And when you're washing your whites, it also whitens. And so you can put a few drops in your laundry soap and when you're doing your whites, it'll help whiten your whites without all the toxicities of bleach. Perfect. And we have to move a little bit quicker. I apologize <clears throat> because my camera can only record for so long on the, um, the little... Well, I can talk pretty fast so, if you want me to. I apologize. All right, Next so is peppermint. peppermint is fabulous for your brain also. You've got lots of good brain oils here. Say. And yeah. it helps you stay awake. So lavender will help you fall asleep. Peppermint will keep you awake. Unless you're one of those weird people who, when you were a kid, you took cold medicine and it made you hyper instead of go to sleep, then, then oh, yeah. you're going to reverse those. But peppermint is fabulous for headaches. It is fabulous for pain. If you smash your finger with a hammer, you want peppermint right close by. You put a little drop of that on there and 90% of the time the pain just almost instantly just goes away. Wow. Um, we do want to be careful with peppermint um, with children. Younger children, you do not want to do peppermint around your children. It affects their lungs too much and so it can actually sometimes with the younger child stop them from breathing for a little while. So we want to be careful with that. But for the rest of us, it'll just open up your sinuses and your lungs. If you have a cold or anything like that, it's great for that. Perfect. Um, um, Raven Sara. Thank you. So, or Robin Sara, you know it's like tomato, tomato. Mm -hmm. And that is fabulous. Two main things that that is great for is nerve issues. So sciatica, neuropathy, any kind of nerve pain, right. Robinsara has been known to be great for that. And it is fabulous for lung congestion, specifically for children. So where we would maybe use peppermint as an adult, 
You're going to want to use the Raven Sara for your children for lung congestion and, and that kind of thing. Croup, all those kinds of things. Okay, very good. Tea tree. Tea tree is called a um, medicine cabinet in a bottle. So anytime you would you normally use like there is like you know Neosporin, Bactine, all those different um, sprays and things when you get cut and your mom would put that on you when you were little it's probably Mercure Chrome that red stuff and it made you that. scream. <laughs> My grandma used Listerine. Talk about screaming! Oh, wow. Yes, that was her go-to wow. if you got cut. So we hardly ever told her if we got cut. <laughs> and <laughs> tea tree is fabulous and is also very antifungal. So. Any kind of like candida, athlete's foot, those kinds of things, tea trees are go to for those kinds of things. Wow, that's amazing. Um, to be at peace. So, to be at peace is one of the most popular blends that we have at Longevity, and it has um, uh, blue chamomile in it, and that is a very anti inflammatory. To be at peace was originally formulated to just calm you down and relax you. But one of the things I love about blends is because you are putting all these different oils together, a lot of times they do other things besides the general focus of the blend. And so one of the things that To Be At Peace does is it relaxes you so much that actually let's, well, I call it a chiropractor in a bottle. So we have um, on our spine all these muscles right here. And when you go to the chiropractor and he adjusts your back, if those muscles, what it's called the myofascian, is I call it saran wrap or plastic wrap around your muscles, it holds your muscles where um, they're used to be. So when you put, you can turn back around. Okay, sorry. So <laughs> that's okay. So when you put to be a piece just on the bottom of your toe, key, it relaxes the myofascia, and so then it allows your spine to go where it wants to go. So I've had several chiropractors who don't like me. <laughs> because I introduce uh, to be a piece to their customers. So I tell them, you know what, you should use it. And then instead of getting the same customer over and over again, you can just gather more customers. Very good, very good. And I like the fact that you make it easy. You just, again, um, on the big toe, the zip zip. Um, and you're uh, good to go. That's great. Trauma, the next one. Okay, so trauma is the number one blend at Longevity. Wow. And that. yes. <clears throat> and it's good for exactly what the title of the blend is for. Right. And I know several people who have had serious car injuries. Um, one lady, we have her testimonial in my book. Um, she, she fell off of a building or something like 35 feet and oh, broke all goodness. these bones and everything like that. And she tells these miracle stories of putting trauma oil on. I also have a video of a man who cut his arm up with a chainsaw. Oh, and he put the trauma oil on there and you can hardly see any scar and one of the reasons why trauma is so fantastic is it has an essential oil in the blend called helichrysum or helichrysum it's like that ravensara or ravensara mm -hmm. and that oil is known for skin regeneration that is its gift to mankind wow. and it just okay. gives your skin what it needs to just suture that right up and hardly leave a scar and a lot of people who have severe arthritis or injuries, mostly injuries versus like a long-term arthritis thing, but for injuries, trauma is the go-to oil for that, for severe injuries. Very, very good. You just smash your finger, just go ahead and use peppermint, but if you do more than just smash your finger, then trauma. use the trauma. Very good. The last one is Cypress. Now Cypress is, I think it's interesting that it's one of the top sellers and um, that sort of surprised me, but when I'm thinking about it more and more and more, I'm like, wow, it is really good for all these things. So Cypress is a hormone regulator, mm -hmm. and it also, one of the main things it's known for is improving circulation. So if you have bad circulation going on in your body, numbness mm -hmm. in your feet, tingling in your hands, Cypress is your friend. And also it strengthens the walls of the capillaries and the veins in your body. So it's also been very widely used for varicose veins hmm. and um, also for um, because of it opening things up it's also been used for lung issues, for lung congestion, those kinds of things as well. So it is great, a good all-around oil that way. 
Perfect. Because anytime you get an injury or of any kind, increased oxygen to that part of the body is an important part of the healing process. Right. So anytime you have anything going on in your body, of any kind of inflammation whatsoever, we have a lack of oxygen going. Like if you injured this shoulder, maybe you would put trauma on to help with the pain, but you would also want to add cypress so that that trauma oil can get in there better to mm -hmm. help relieve the swelling. Okay, very good. Opens everything up then. Yes. Now all of these that we've just talked about, they are in stock right now in the New Zealand warehouse. You can order them <coughs> individually. Um, and uh, it, the, the amazing thing is when Leanne came on board at the beginning of this year, 2014, since she's come on board, I can't give the exact number. It was October 4th of 2013 is I, when it came up. October 2013. <laughs> but the sales have grown over 1,000% inside of Longevity. And I always like to say, it's because of Leanne and the amazing work that she's done. Um, she's taught us now about the oils that are available that you can purchase again today from the New Zealand office. You know, one of the amazing things to me, um, because I spoke with um, Leanne when she first started, <clears throat> she had some great ideas, um, not only for bringing uh, different oils to us, but she had some great ideas on, oh, thank you, you're very kind, um, different ways to sell the oils. Uh, there we go. Um, and one of the ways is called the Oil of the Month Club. I'm going to have her explain a little bit about what the Oil of the Month Oil of the Month Club is and how you can use it to help you build your business. Okay. So the thing about I love about the Oils of the Month Club, and I. My daughters and I put this whole program together and it goes back to me wanting to share with other people and I want you guys to catch that fire and that passion for wanting to share the magic of essential oils with other people and I wanted to make it simple and easy for you. That remember is simple and fun. That's my motto with essential oils. Now each month on the Aroma Share Club, that my daughter called that, named it the Aroma Share Club, so I had to put a plug in for her. It comes in a different bag each each month. So this is just one example of one month's bag. So if you guys don't get it in this bag, I don't want you to get all upset, okay? It will come. Yes, it, and you get two to four oils each month, okay. and there is a very good average savings of about 30% wow. um, on when you get your oils this way. And we want you guys to all put it on auto ship oh, so exactly. that you get it. Very and do they so. do free shipping um, on auto ship? They do if it's over 100 QB. All right. So what you guys need to do is add this to your auto ship so you get your, your shipping for free with That's this fine. as well. So I'm not sure what month this is. We'll open it up. So my kids and I, we work really hard to make fun things for you guys. So this is October's. And you guys are going to get Januarys and Februarys, and yes, I already did all your recipes for you ahead of time, because I had to get them ready two months ahead of time for you guys. But I don't even know you, and I already love you, and I want to give you guys everything the best I can. So you get a recipe page that comes in each Oils of the Month Club. And I have personal care recipes on this one, and they have a theme. This month's theme was Fresh Air. And so we had oils that helped open up airways or that would freshen the air. Right. Mostly it had to do with lung issues. That was the whole theme of that month because here <coughs> in America, October is cold and flu season. That's true. And so I have recipes there for you. And then on the back, if an essential oil has um, an ability to be good in cooking recipes, right. then I have um, food recipes there for you as Very well. Good. And the reason why some people say, well, you know, on all of our bottles it says do not take inter internally, <clears throat> then why do you have them in food recipes? So I want to address that. Okay. Because <clears throat> some people freak out. It says, you know, um, do not take internally. The reason why we have do not take internally on these is because we do not want you opening the bottle and just pouring it down your throat. Because that is dangerous. It's wasting oil. It's wasting your money. And 
it also can damage your liver. And so at Yongevity, we like to err on the side of safety. Yes. And so <laughs> when we say do not take internally, that is the way we mean. We don't want you drinking it or that kind of thing. Right. But in an essential oils food recipe, that's only like, I usually tell you to only put one drop in an entire batch of food. So on this one we had like homemade easy ketchup, and I had no big gluten-free gingerbread cookies. Oh wow. And no big gluten-free refrigerator carrot cake. Oh my gosh, that was so good. <laughs> and then we have roasted pineapple glaze. Most of the time these are uncooked recipes so that we aren't um, inferior interfering with the medicinal qualities of the essential oils. Though you do need to remember that they were distilled at boiling temperature. Okay. That's how they were created. So as, it's, as long as you're doing low temperature cooking, it really doesn't um, over affect them too bad. Okay. So you get that each and every month. And I want you guys to invite your friends over and start your own little clubs. And how you do that is that you just invite a few friends over and um, copy these. You're allowed to copy these. I just love Perfect. letting people copy. And then you can ask one person, hey, will you make the, the gingerbread cookies? And hey, will you make the roasted pineapple? And would you make the... Um, uh, the tooth powder and would you make the chest ointment for grown-ups and then everybody brings their recipes and they share them with each other and they let oh, everybody great. try them or you could just pick one recipe that you're going to make actually at your class and right. maybe you're going to get a bunch of little bottles and you're all going to make a little air freshener spray or something like that Very good. so we want you to get together and have fun you've Next probably heard um, and if you've looked on the team fusion site um, you've seen a lot of the, uh, uh, the different people who have written um, about just what she has in her hand right now. And you then, starting in January, will be able to have the exact same thing that they've been talking about. And every single month I do fun little videos that go along with these. Cool. And they are on the Young Jevity 90 for Life video channel. Okay. Now let me tell you how to find them because they're sort of That's tricky important. to find. Okay. So you go to the Young Jevity channel and up at the top there it says playlists. Okay. So you click on playlists and right now it's like on the bottom left hand side of your screen, second okay. row down on the end. And it says essential oils and there's a picture of me. I have over 36 videos there. Wow. And they go along with all the past months that we've done. And so we have um, we have about um, 36 videos there to go with every single one of those. And we only have a few minutes left, so I just want to talk about these cards. You also get a card that we have designed for you that tells you um, what's in the essential oil if it's a blend, so in case right. you have allergies or right. something like that. And then we tell you what major body systems that that essential oil can aid and help your body with. So we don't put diseases on here because diseases are really just symptoms of an overall um, lack of something in a, in a specific system going on in your body. So we just talk about the body system that it can help with. We talk about nu a nutritional products that maybe they could get to go with them. Right. And then on the back, we tell you exactly how to use it and any safety features that you may need to know. And we have little holes so you guys can put them on a little ring and, and oh, have cool. those with you all the time. That is good. So we are. Well, we only have a few minutes left. We do. And in the last few minutes, I just want to say, first of all, thank you to Leanne. She drove many hours to be here. And I know that she was up um, probably all night last night. But she drove to come here to be able to film this so that you guys in Australia and New Zealand will have the exact same training and knowledge. In fact, in reality, you probably have better knowledge and training just from listening to this. So Leanne is an amazing lady. I'm grateful that she's part of our Longevity team. Use these oils. This has been one of the way that people from um, our Memories for Life, our heritage, um, and, and, and in every division, I should say, but they've really helped their team to grow, especially with the um, aroma um, of the month club. Be sure to add that onto your auto ship. Um, 
and, and just know, I'm coming over again. Uh, by the time I get there, uh, you will be seeing this. I'm excited. Um, let's share this with as many people as we possibly can. These sell incredibly well. And with that, Leah, thank you. And I just want to say, we didn't get to the January and February oils, so we'll do another video for you guys, specifically for each of these months. Besides the little short videos that I do about the recipes, okay. let's do a video that gives them a little bit more detailed information about each of those oils like we did today. Perfect. Thank you. You're very kind. Guys, I'll see you soon. And thanks Sing a lot. Sing your song. <laughs>